October has seen major strides towards Mars One's first astronaut training facility. Here is a sneak peek at Simulation Outpost Alpha. As you can see, these are just some basic preliminary concept sketches showing the typical dimensions of parts of the outpost and some other aspects of Mars One's mission plan are very exciting. So Mars One's Simulation Outpost will be used primarily for astronaut selection and the early parts of the training process. Whilst it will not be internally pressurised, have its own airlocks, or a fully self-contained environmental control system, it will mainly serve as a psychological proving ground for the trainee astronauts, who will be expected to spend anywhere between weeks all the way up to months at a time in the outpost. The location of Simulation Outpost Alpha has yet to be determined, but since it is an early prototype, it will be in a fairly accessible location. But remember that Simulation Outpost Alpha is just the first of many simulation outposts, which will become increasingly complex over time and be built in progressively harsher and more remote locations, eventually leading up to a full simulation in either the Arctic or the Antarctic. Simulation Outpost Alpha will likely also play a role in the upcoming rounds of the selection process. Currently, the documentary TV show part of the process is scheduled to begin airing in April 2015, with the first filming likely taking place around January time. Now, there hasn't been an official announcement confirming this yet, as it's largely being driven by Dallas Smithson Productions, but I'm sure to keep you updated when the times for the interviews are finally revealed. Alongside the TV show, a book called Mars One The Human Factor is going to be released. Edited by Dr Norbert Kraft, Mars One's Chief Medical Officer, along with Dr James Cass, and Dr Ray Cass, who together make up Mars One's Astronaut Selection Committee, the book will explore the human aspects of the mission. It will include behind-the-scenes details on the astronaut selection process, excerpts from Mars One planning documents, and pieces from the candidates explaining their motivations in applying for a one-way mission to Mars. You can check out the book's Amazon page down below for further details. More down to Earth, there's been a lot of media attention recently about a study conducted by a group of MIT students who allegedly conclude that the Mars One mission is doomed to failure. But don't worry, this is just a classic case of the media selecting what sounds like a catchy headline which actually has no factual basis. I've made a video explaining what the MIT study actually says, which you can check out here or down below. But long story short, the MIT study does not predict that anyone is going to die on this mission. Finally, if you're interested in finding out a little more about how I became interested in Mars One and about the mission in general, the talk I gave at the Settle Stories Festival in mid-October is now available to view online. You can see a short video clip of it over here, or the full audio recording is available down below. My next public event will be a talk at Oxford University's Physics Department on November 17th about the solar system and exoplanets, you can find out more about that event down below, which is completely free, anyone can attend, and it's for a family audience. So it would be great if some of you could make it there. Well, that's all for this month. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with the latest developments on the Mars One project, because things are about to get very exciting in the near future. And until then, I'll see you next time.